Hello, everybody, and welcome to Mackie's Adventure. Mackie's? Mackie's? I don't, I don't know. Um, let's change this music to 70. Sound effects about the same. Everything else is about the same. Uh, definitely not doing speedrun mode. I'm not going to be able to do that. This is like the worst Xbox controller that I've ever bought. It's like doesn't work half the time. All right, there we go. It's working now. <clears throat> so there's a story game. There's a racing mode, boss rush. Uh, I'm gonna do the story first. Long ago, begin. Peace and harmony reigned in this land. The three sacred sharks ruled over this area and evicted the evil demons. Shortly before their death, they chose two worthy successors. A little later, a terrible storm happened. The waves engulfed entire islands and terrified the islanders. Due to the enormous pressure of the waves, the gate to the underworld broke open. As the storm calmed down, an eerie figure appeared in the midst of the waves. It was Octavio. He belonged to the evil demons of the underworld and could now rain down his limitless power on the land. Any means were fine with him to gain power, destroying islands, attacking other demons, and defeating anyone who stood in his way. One day, two unknown warriors confronted Octavio, and a devastating fight began. Neither of the two brave warriors were ever seen again. All right, getting into it. So I would like to start off by saying thank you to the developer because I won a free copy of the game through a Twitter giveaway. So pretty happy about that. All right, Skeleto, oh, you are finally awake. And as loud as you snore, you wake the dead. I can even sleep on that cold wooden bench. I am getting goosebumps just watching. But did you know that you can open your inventory with I or squiggly line or hamburger symbol? I always wonder where guys like you store their potions, weapons, and other stuff. Like, do you have extra large pockets or what? Cool. Alright, so we get a map. No, we don't have a map. No quest, nothing like that. No inventory items. Mackie, is that you? What? You do not recognize me? It's me, Timu! We are brothers. You must have slept really <coughs> Excuse me, you must have slept really long, right? Oh, we do not have time. The time for small talk right now. We have to escape from this prison. I will explain everything to you later. During a conversation between two guards lately, I heard them talking about a hidden cell key to my cell door somewhere on this floor. You have to find the key, Mackie. Alright, I got you, buddy. Old brother. I thought I was like <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god, I, I thought like um there's upper B while walking to dash four. All right, we're gonna do B. I thought I was a girl. Um, like all the, tr I mean, not that anything really looks like it stands out as far as uh, potentially making you a girl or a guy in the game. I, I thought that I was. Oh wait, am I the? Oh, hold on, let's see. I have been locked in this cell for five years now. Even with the shovel I stole from that stupid guard, I just cannot get through those stone walls. I guess I have to come up with a better idea. Mentally, I am clearly superior to these stupid guards. It cannot be that difficult to escape from this dungeon. I am the Red Scar Bandit, after all. Huh? But it looks like he was only here for a week, so I mean, obviously it's not... It wasn't that difficult to escape. The sky through his sight. Very powerful weapon, the blade looks sharp, and the material, is, material seems precious. And, oh, oh, we started off right off the bat with attacking things. Oh, and some gold. And a key. Oh, look at that, solving problems already. Thank you, Mackie, I owe you something. But for now, let us get out of here. I still have a lot to tell you. A lot has happened. 
I will meet you at the elevator. See you. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the elevator. Oh, there you are. Heck, you watch out. I found this golden key on my way here. Did, do you see the holes in the elevator? I think they are for that golden key. Did the key, Mackie? Just leave for yourself. Here, the key. I will meet you later. I will catch up with you later. Anyway, I've always been faster than you, my brother. All right, we got an elevator key. Um, let's go to floor two. I feel like I should go... You know what? We're going to go right and then left. I feel like that's the right answer. Step. Hmm, one elevator key probably is, was not enough. We have to look for more keys. Mackie, let me tell you something. We are shark demons. With our shark teeth, we are able to transform into a shark without shark teeth. Oh, weird. Oh, the guards stole our shark teeth, but luckily I can steal this one back from them. Take it. Now jump into the water and get the next elevator key. Mackie. Alright, let's go, my dude. As a reef shark, you can bite your enemies with X. Oh. Uh, look at this. I wonder if can they jump out of the water? Oh. Hey, who are you? Uh, do I know you from somewhere? Yeah, my name is Mac. You no, know, that's an unusual name. I guess you're not from around here. You know about us? My name is Ragnus, and we both are the guardians of the pantry. That sounds more exciting than it is, though. Uh, actually, I would have had a day off today and would have gone to the beach with my son Frido, Frido. But recently, supplies were sold from the pantry. Since then, we have been tasked with guarding the pantry here around the clock. It feels really depressing to be assigned to uh, such a useless job. Angris in the dungeon kitchen is running out of supplies. However, we are not allowed to leave our workplace. Could you take the food basket to Angus? Eh, sure, why not, my dude? Oh, would you really do that for me? Thank you very much, my friend. I believe this... No, this is Gilbert. Welcome to my cozy bar, stranger. My name is Gilbert. Actually, I'm supposed to be behind the counter and serve my customers, right? However, after Octavio rebuilt our beautiful island here and implemented a dungeon, most of the residents left the island. Besides, that fat guy up there is getting on my nerves, too. His snoring scares my last, or the last of my customers away. But I wouldn't wake him up, either. Look at him. I bet he will eat you up when he is awake. Would you do me a favor and visit Cornelius? He owns a small shop one floor up. Cornelius is well known for his potions and may still have one of his wake-up potions in stock. With that, you should you would help me a lot, and of course, I would reward you too. Oh, what's this? Uh, we can play a uh, dark game. I never really understood darts. Because I always thought like it was the goal was to try to get bullseyes every time. Uh, but no, the answer is to try to get like to no points. Um, which seems kind of like weird to me, but uh, that's that's just how it works. Uh ooh, we break these boxes. Yeah, give us some coins. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with those, but we'll figure it out. Uh, we got ourselves an A. Alright, the dude's sleeping. We need something for him, so... Oh, what? The crab came back? Very unexpected. You can slide on walls, and if you press jump... Okay, we can do the jump on the wall stuff. I don't know what the coins are going to be for you. Uh, obviously, I, I feel like we're going to figure that out at some point. Kitchen feels like the game we need to see. Three steaks, two skull soups, one flapper wing. Oh, well, who are you, my little friend? The sight of you reminds me of my last steak, so tender and juicy. But where are my manners again? My name is Angris, and I am the chef. Unfortunately, I am slowly running out of food supplies, and the two guards in front of the pantry just do not bring any supplies. What? They sent you to bring me the supplies? Well, thank you for bringing it. Will you give it to me now, please? I know there's no well, but whatever. It feels appropriate. Um, but I don't know what to leave you empty-handed. Here, take it. Oh, and maybe talk with Ragnus again. He surely wants to say thank you. Oh, that's a ton of coins. Well, thanks, dude. Oh, 
You can't just walk into those guys either. All right, in the library, a library. I want to remember where all these places are. Welcome, stranger. My name is Quentin, and I am the owner of this beautiful library. Books are great; they tell stories and educate us, right? Yes. Really, you do not look very smart to me, but as they say, do not judge a book by its cover. Do you want to take my quiz? Yeah, absolutely. Let the quiz begin. What's the name of one of the prisoners? Uh, Timu. How many rooms are on the first floor? On the first floor? I don't know. There's eight? What if I... What if I get the, the quiz questions correct this time? Uh, how many bookshelves? One, two, three, four, five? Nine. Well, like, how, how am I supposed to see whether the, uh, the stuff's, like, in front of, in front of me? I'm glad that, um, it doesn't seem to matter. You can just kind of do this as many times as you want, uh, until you get it right, I think. Let's see. The cube has six faces. Why did I choose five? I don't know what the, the, the point of the quiz is. I'm afraid if I don't get all of these right, if I don't do this, I'm going to miss out on something that could be, uh, important later, so... little boy. Mackie, that name seems very sick. Such a nice little guy. My name is Andre Hu. I have lived on this island for ages. Excuse me, after 45 years, however, I've lost count. I have lived my whole life on this island. I just hate what Octavio has done to our once beautiful island. We started to expand the island underground due to the strong storms. Now Octavio uses our idea to build an underground dungeon. The library is the only place where you still have peace and quiet. My time will probably be over soon. Mackie, please do me a favor and defeat Octavio. Sure, buddy. Oh, wait, hold on, there's another room to the left here. A uh, health potion. I don't need a health potion, I need a key. Where would this golden key be? I imagine I'm going to be able to buy something cool at some point. Okay, well, I came back to talk to you, but you didn't really want me to talk to you. Maybe this guy. Yeah, there we go. He gave me a key, of course. I almost wonder if I run into, um, what does this do? Is it a trap? Oh, it's a, like a, like a little, um, I don't know, a spring. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. These sections where you go from being a person to turning into a shark are actually, yeah, they're pretty cool. Like, I mean, I think that's probably uh, one of the highlights uh, of the game thus far, because it's a really cool little concept. All right, uh, I need to help my dude. Obviously, Gilbert seems to suffer from a sleeping guest, right? Oh, I'm very kind of helping Texas. All right, we got a potion. Yeah, that. What other things um, can I buy here? Shield, purple. Nah, we don't need any potions right now. <laughs> Not yet. I mean, I I might at some point, but uh, thoroughly feel as though it seems uh, pretty simple, pretty easy to play so far. Uh, pretty easy to kind of pick up and understand the controls. 
you know, movement and everything. Pour it into his mouth. All right, that's what we usually do with potions, so. Good morning, my friend. Mendic. I had such a weird dream. I dreamt of a large, tasty cut of meat. Do you have anything to get something to eat right now? All right. Uh, now I feel like I need to feed him. Okay, well, so far, like, coins seem like they're gonna be, um, specifically for purchasing potions, which I have yet to decide if they're going to be valuable or important. Um, time will tell. This looks like a rather friendly fellow. Uh, I don't think he's friendly. escalated quickly. I know it took some damage, but I mean, like, he's almost dead, so I'm not really too worried about it. Well, sorry, guy, I don't know who you are, but I have an elevator to climb. Another uh, boss fight already. All right. Yeah, I might actually have to go buy the some potions to kill myself. I'm not sure I understand how this process works. I killed him. I don't think I understand completely how the oh. um combat there is working, because I, I feel like I took a lot of damage uh, for nothing. Meaning, like, I should not have um, taken the damage. I should have figured out uh, whatever it is that it was uh, the secret or whatnot. is the wrong guy. Well, maybe this guy is going to give me some food or something. Um, no. Well, currently no room for errors. Which is fine. I don't make mistakes. Uh, you're not the guy. And the guy's not here. This, I went the wrong way. I thought it was the shop is on the other side. Look, and you know, there's the map. No, he's, he is on the third floor. What? I don't remember if he's on the left or the right, though. He is on the right? Oh, man. Why am I so bad at maps? Um, I'm pretty sure he's on the right. Hmm. No, I, I think I'm, I'm... Am I somehow lost? 
I'm lost. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I mean, I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't remember where the guy at the shop was. Like, no symbol here that lets me know. Uh, it's not left. It's... Is he up there? Oh, he... He is up there. I was just going the wrong way. All right. I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna I'm gonna go the right way. I'm gonna find this guy. Tell him what's up. All right. I would like to buy a um, heal potion, which I already have one, but. Buy a couple just to be on the safe side. No, dude, no, I was buying stuff. I still look at this character and I'm like, this is a girl. I mean, which is fine, but I just, I just can't not see it. All right, uh, there's still a room to the left that I didn't experience. So, I want to check that out because it could be something of use. That necessarily goes anywhere like, towards the, like anywhere. It looks like I, if I go down that way, it might be a, like a death situation, so I'm not gonna do it. Who are you guys? Hey, who are you? This is our area, is that right, Mido? Yes, that's correct. What do you want? We are dangerous. Watch out. My buddy Mido is so brave, he just stole an elevator key from his father. Don't you want to know where you can find the elevator key? Look over there. Seems pretty simple enough. Uh, there's a couple places I'm gonna have to jump, it would appear. Um, hopefully, I can remember that. I wanted to teach him a lesson the other day and stole food from the pantry. At first, I thought that would be the solution to the problem. In the meantime, however, I believe they had to put in extra shifts because of us, and I'm ashamed of our idea. Mido, do not tell. You cannot trust this stranger. If our fathers find out, we are screwed. Then there will be no more dessert for you. Oh darn it, not my beloved dessert. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't know what will happen if I, um... Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh. I jumped too soon. Uh, I was gonna say, I don't know what will happen if I fall in... You know, if I land, like... You know, not on the... Um, oh. Whatever this is, this cart. Oh. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that this is, um, electrified, and I am being electrocuted. Which I guess could make sense. I mean, there's been no form of electricity so far, but... Oh, 
Yeah, alright, now we got to go up another floor. I feel like I'm progressing uh, through the game fairly quickly. I mean, it seems like the repercussions for death are not that severe. Oh, look at this. We're already at the fifth floor. Look at this. Oh, man. So cute. Many islands full of stories and treasures. Freeman's nearing yet so far away. Well, let's uh, check out the other side first before I leave here. Oh. Oh, wait. I can go fishing. Let's go fish. I guess I need a fishing, fishing pole or something, a fishing rod, some sort of fishing apparatus. So hopefully we get that. The brave warrior who died in the dungeon. Wait, how can you get here quicker than me? You are cheating. Then I will let you go first. Come on. All right, dude. I. You know, turn into a shark. He can't turn into a shark. It probably delayed things for him a little bit, I think. Oh. The Island Guard, Nicole <laughs> That doesn't sound too... I'm not too worried about I can't even reach the guy now. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of my bad there. I just jumped too far. Let's see what happens if I do a little bit more strength and stuff. It definitely seems to have done something a bit of it. It's a little boar. Ah, I kind of want to try to fight it, but I feel like it hasn't done anything to deserve any kind of ill will. So if anybody's wondering if this is a game that a cat would be interested in, the answer is yes. My my cat, who is still just a, you know, she is, I don't know, 12 weeks old at this point, she's like four months. Uh, she is greatly interested in the game. Ha! It's my, one, of, one of the mouse is done. Oh, God, are you okay? Who was this giant? The way was blocked. I could not help you, brother. Finally, we are free. Let's get out of here now. Follow me. We have to go down to the beach. Oh, Maggie, nice to see you. We made it. You made it. We are free now. But your adventure is far from over. You have to find your other two shark teeth and defeat Octo. To the left, you come to the open sea, and says you travel to Harbonia next. Oh. Alright, and we can swim. We can... fight. Uh, I believe I am this green... Thing. I, I don't know what this guy is over here. It's a little boat. Um, I also am not sure. I think the town is what he's talking about. An old pirate ship. Gotta check that out. Ahoy, sailor! My name is Roberto, and I've been captain of this magnificent ship. For decades now, I've sailed the sea, searching in vain for my father's great treasure. 
However, one day I entered the waters of a wicked witch. A curse has weighed on me since that day, and there is only one way to salvation. I need six pearl necklaces. If you bring me six pearl necklaces, I'll give you my greatest treasure in return. I think I have two so far. Oh, wait, no, I want to go to this island. Yeah, Harbonia. I think, um, you know, this is definitely a place that I'm supposed to go, per my brother. The door is closed. He would be helpful. What do we got, a dog here? Well, now it's coming with us. Oh, I'm surprised. I thought for sure this was going to need a key as well. Spiruvo, hello, my little customer. Welcome to a smear lottery. Do you want to win something? You can win 300 coins. Just buy a scratch card and get rich. Sure, dude. We'll buy one. You lost. You can try again tomorrow. Well, I got bamboozled. Oh, hello, stranger. My name is Calamarius, and I teach the art of combat. As I can see, your fighting style still has a lot of room for improvement. Let me teach you a new skill. I feel like I was doing pretty good. I didn't need new skills, but all right, old man. I can throw my skies and gain height to save myself. Cool. Necklaces. Uh, we'll take this, please, and thank you. And maybe this guy gives me a fishing pole. My name is Ludolf, and I love fishing, as you can see. Did you see a small blue key? I must have lost it a few days ago. Since then, I cannot get into my house. I mean, the, these wooden planks are nice and warm and cozy, too, but I would rather sleep in my aquarium. Could it be that you do not care about my problems? I only have an eye for my fishing rod. Let me make you an offer. If I'm a king, give me my blood fishing rod. All right, buddy. All right, so it's probably in, like, one of these buildings. Uh, which one? Who knows? We'll take the dog with us again. Oh, look, we can buy some hats for the dog. That's kind of cool. Hello, stranger, can you do me a favor? Have I got my diary in the prison on a crossy island? Can you bring it to me, please? I, I thought, like... Okay, I know where he's talking about, but I thought I already got it, but... Okay, well, you want me to make a mixed drink? Alright. Green and blue. I mean, I don't, I don't really know if this is the right... Right way here. It's certainly a way to make some cash, but, I mean, not enough to where... Yeah, I mean... What? Yeah, it's okay, dude. I'm, I'm not really into that minigame. I'd like billiards, though. I apparently am very bad at it, but that's cool. That's cool to have these mini games in here. Um... All right, so that dude wants me to go back to Necrosti Island, which I'm pretty sure is where I was um, earlier. So, I'm pretty sure it's like where I came from because I saw there was um, 
he was a uh, spot there where the guy was like um Necrosi Island or whatever. Is this like um, a battle or something? I don't know. Oh, this is the same guy that I talked to already. I guess I'll go up to the place at the most northern section. I don't know what this guy is going to give me if um, we go here and we get this thing that he's talking about. It's kind of weird, though, because it's already here, so I feel as though, uh, you know, they should have let me pick up whatever was... You know, why could I pick up the notebook when I was here if it was going to be useful? But I guess in reality, I wouldn't have picked it up because I would not have... I wouldn't have had any thought that it was going to be uh, of value. So... I get it, but at the same time, I do wish I could have picked up. Actually, maybe I just messed up and I did things wrong. Who knows? Yeah, my brother told me to go to this island first, but I went to this island and there wasn't really anything that valuable uh there's like not much of a reason to go to it the way that i saw this this is pretty cool though i like that we're going from you know a 2d game to there's this 3d shark movement simulator and that's pretty cool i like it i, I think it's pretty cool the dog's like a half pug half like like half cats. I mean, what am I gonna? What am I gonna do with shoes? Well, apparently, it is a legitimate item uh, that I can use. So. Well, for anybody who likes a speed run, I can tell you right now, if you do uh, the proper amount of jumping uh, and dodging, you're going to be able to kind of get through things a little bit quicker. Alright, so we apparently have a Mackie to get... This island as well, or out just out here in the water. Oh, there's another one. I'll go get it. I'll we'll come back to this island. Plantania. Interesting. Hammerhead tooth, the tooth of a hammerhead shark. Those sharks are very strong and can destroy cracked stones. Cool. Oh my god, is that a boar? It's a giant boar. Okay, I don't like these guys. They turn into like that. They get this, like. I don't know, smoke screen of sorts that they are dropping after you hit them. It's gonna make it kind of problematic. Jerk switch, hold on, blah, 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 blah.
Okay, well that didn't work. Um... And that's why, okay. I wasn't really sure, like it looked like it potentially was like some kind of um, symbol to switch over, but I don't know. Just keep uh, grinzing and pretending to pretend to be happy, even though there's no reason to be happy. The spooky creature took up residence at the top of our island. Most of our res uh, most of most of our the residents have been hiding ever since, and no one has left the village. Please do something about this creature. I beg you, bring back the peace. Sure, buddy. We settled this island many years ago and built this temple with our own sprouts. Uh, Aries. That. Okay, we can get some more stuff, which is good. These guys are really fixated on the whole berry situation. I think the little, uh, the, uh, know, these plant people are kind of cute. dead ends that may lead us to something good, but I don't know. Hey, you midget. Hey, hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, I thought, this, I thought this guy was going to attack me, so I was trying to kind of not get into that situation. Now we have to go back to the village to get the berries. Oh, why can't I just take the berries with me? You know what? Let's go see what's down here. Necklace. It's uh, four necklaces, I think. Yep. This means there's probably that one place back at the. Like at the dungeon that has a. What kind of secret? Probably a pearl necklace. We'll go back to it eventually if we have to. For now, we're just gonna focus on this place. Catch uh, 25 berries. I'll be honest, I certainly was not expecting there to be a massive amount of. Well, I don't want to say massive, but I definitely wasn't expecting there to be a bunch of mini games attached to the game. Uh, I mean, I've seen the trailers, I knew there was fishing, uh, but I definitely didn't know there was a whole bunch of mini games. Uh, I also didn't expect for the mini games to be of such quality. I mean, like, the game is really really well made like this is uh this has been a fantastic experience thus far Get enough berries. And as small as these levels have been, like the game doesn't really feel as if it is small. Hold on, I think. No, I can't do it. Uh, but yeah, the game doesn't feel like it is a small game. It feels kind of large. Uh, Based on what I've seen, uh, on how long the beat says it takes about two and a half hours on average for people to finish, so.
kitten. Okay, so the downside is I don't know what that just unlocked. And I missed it. Because, uh, I had to deal with the kitten. should still be able to go up. Oops. Hopefully it unlocks something uh, right here. Yeah, that's what it did. forgotten like I can't remember crap so now I'm gonna have to go back to it I'm gonna have to take a picture of it because I I don't know why like uh, people think I get like people have like good memories I mean I guess people do but I am not one of those people that has, like, a memory that's worth any degree of value. Uh, especially for video games, I mean, I just... Quickly cannot remember. Alright, so it was... Easy boss fight. Surprisingly easy. I believe this is gonna take us up another floor. All right. There's a like some kind of enemy at the top is what it sounds like. This like little mini game with the um, the race cards or the the, the track the, the mind card you know whatever it is I like it I think it's cool. Here to make a quick stop on this island, this delicious and rarely fish lives here. Alright, you want me to fish? I can't fish, buddy. I need to find some guy's key, which I don't know where it is. Hey, 
Elengard Plantura. Oh, here he is. <laughs> okay. Well, this is like so hard to do because my cat is like a. She is uh, very adamant about being a part of this in whatever way she can. Take a while. I'm gonna die. I 100% blame my cat. Because she, um. Well, she kinda got in the way and. Yeah. Yay! Oh, I'm dead. Let's revive. Revive me back to, like, full health. Yeah, we, I'm gonna try it again because I think I can do it. I think I can. Kill it. If I can't, then I'm gonna have to go get some health. Uh, but Man, I wish I did more damage. be a matter of having to be a little bit more careful, I think. Now, what are my strong points when it comes to, um, you know, playing games? I don't really take the careful route. I haven't quite figured out the timing of, like, how many hits I can get in before it kind of does its attack. But I've obviously come a bit closer. I mean, look, I've only lost one health so far. Two hearts. I mean, that was an accident, but... Very epic sounding music. Man, come on, really? Goodness. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. I was just an Arbonia chatting of Crabu and the other islanders. I was quite surprised when I saw you in the distance on the way to Plantania and wanted to follow you directly. Here I am now. It seems you've already defeated the monster. Good work. Now let's get out of here. You still have a long way to go. Octo is getting stronger, and you're missing one last shark tooth. The monster was defeated and peace restored to Plantania. The islanders were liberated, and threw a feast to show their thanks. After the celebrations, Maki and Temu 
rushed back to the beach, and the adventure continued. So, Mackie, we're back on the beach now. The way seemed a bit longer on the first time. Anyway, we have to hurry, Mackie. You're missing one last shark tooth. However, the way to the volcano is blocked by a cracked rock. If only we had a way to destroy this rock. I'll go ahead and take a look. See you. Uh, I'm gonna go buy some... Actually, no, I was gonna go buy some health, but you know what? I think the guy goes around on a boat. I don't think I need to go back to an island. And islands. I still didn't get the blue key, so I don't know where the blue key is. I know the blue key is obviously somewhere, but where I I don't know. Uh, no, I don't want to enter. Uh, I'd like to be a hammerhead shark, and he said it's somewhere up somewhere. maps for this location, so I'm not... Oh, wait, our health is full. Uh, I'm not, like, 100% sure of where it is that uh, he wants us to go. Uh, he said that there's a rock blocking the entrance or whatever, so... It appears... It's here. I'm assuming this is where the last key is. So it does look like there's going to be some things that I may not actually figure out, because I may not get, because I don't know where they are, and... Um, it's going to require a little bit more of kind of looking around to find everything. I'm not really a completionist, though. Um, for me, like, the main main parts of the game that I'm really looking for are... But it's really, like, the story. I want to enjoy the story and just have a good time. And the story is fun. Like, this is a very entertaining title so far. We got a Rockzilla here. Got a Roxilla. Hello, Roxilla. Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought it would be. Oh, we can now be a third shark, a Mako shark. All right, and we can dash forward. I could go and do that. That's what they want me to do, but I'm going to go this way. Oh, it's another fishing spot, but I don't have a fishing rod. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> go with it. Get across my rocks. Oh, man. Look at me. So full of myself, and then I turn into a, the, the wrong kind of shark. Can I, can I kill this guy? Right, I think I have to be a different shark. There's obviously going to be probably a reason. Um, But for now, I'm going to just kind of explore all of my other options and locations. Oh, these these guys are more than one, one health point. Uh, but I need some I need some cash. I'm going to buy some more health potions. Uh, I think because um, yeah, I, I I definitely was getting my butt handed to me. on this guy. I was stuck in on him like uh, peanut butter and jelly and... I don't know, tacos and salad? Maybe? Really? Come 
Oh, we were totally through it. I, I definitely made it. I think the game is very generous with uh, the respawns. Which I think is really nice. Hey, you, please. Please help me. His name is Broccoli. I was looking for crystals with my brother and my father. On the way back, we were attacked by a monster. My father and brother managed to escape to the village and pulled up the ladder. Probably didn't realize I wasn't with them. Look, I was able to hide from the monsters again. You look so powerful. Would you go and hunt down the monster? Please. I got you, buddy. I feel like the dragon is... Oh, okay. I was going to say it's like somewhere else, but... I think I quite understand. Oh, actually I do. Uh, it's getting shorter every time I hit it. I didn't, I couldn't, I didn't put two and two together at first. Like, what were you guys doing fighting a dragon in the water? Obviously it would have won against you because you can't do anything against it. Here's our map. Oh, I don't have maps here? What? And if I'm right, I think you also develop... I think you get health for uh, eating things. Yeah, you do. Who needs potions when you got sharks? Ah, Cornelius, I don't need to talk to you, dude. I don't need to buy your stuff. Expensive potions. Shoot some cannons? Such weird stuff. Like, these mini games are weird? Like, I don't quite understand the purpose uh, of this mini game. Uh, it could be that I get some cash. I don't really know. I didn't really catch that if that is the case. I was uh, too busy uh, petting my cat. I don't think you realize that like this is not like the kind of game that you can easily stop doing what you're doing and, and just give her some pets, but I mean it's a cat, man. I don't know what you want me to do. Like it, oh she's she's putting the claw out for me. She's you know the paw, she really wants some attention. I guess we're only gonna get a few more of these rocks before um before I die, but I'm gonna try to get at least 20. I feel like 20 is a magic number. What happens? Um, rock 31, we got a silver rank. Yeah, no thank you, dude. I don't need to play with the rocks anymore. I'm actually surprised I haven't found, like, um... A, uh... I'm surprised I haven't found a map. This is like the first time I really haven't had a map, so I don't really know where to go. Like, I feel as though the answer is going to be, you know, go upwards and eventually we'll find whatever and that's going to give us the key that we need. And make progress, but the fact that I don't have a map is making it a little bit more difficult to find everything. Uh, so I know there's going to be some parts that I straight up do not do not figure out, I think. I, I feel as though there's certainly going to be some locations that um, I might miss out on just because I can't figure out what it is that I'm supposed to find. Oh, 
Hate those things. Sweet manicure. Dang. Yes, revive, please, and be back to the magical adventure of doing all kinds of cool stuff. Actually, looks like there probably would have been. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something over here. Because uh, I feel like I need to go to that side. I feel like yeah, because I can definitely make it. Uh, but I feel as though if I'm able to jump over to that side. Um, it's going to... Like, there's something over there that's going to be of benefit. Yeah, it's a, a ladder. Uh, and a chest. I think there's, uh, yep, six pearl necklaces. So we just need to find the pirate captain, I believe. Uh, I gotta say, the... The, I think the crystal was something too, but I don't really remember what it was. Let's say quest. Um, oh, five oh, crystal oh, shards. Oh. That's the first one I found this entire time. Um, but yeah, but oh, oh. Um, I think the uh, oh, 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 oh. the boing oh. boing boing or whatever the noise is of the jumping. That's a pretty funny sound effect, because it's very obviously just a person um, who is saying uh, the noise. Alright, two crystal shards. We just need three more. I'm not really looking for them, though, I guess. I don't think... Megumo, Lava Colossus Megumo. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? It's like it feels kind of weird because aside from like all of a sudden. Uh, aside from the fire, I mean, it's. Not, not intensely difficult. 
just have to like attack those at the right time. Okay, so you can't get smashed at all. All right. Well, you know, maybe it's a little bit more difficult than I made it sound the first two time, first time. I'll do better this time. I think it's because I saw that you could kind of hit two hands at one time. I got a little full of myself, perhaps. Time. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna kill it this time. Uh, well, I got like way harder than I thought it would be. The lava kept rising, but even in this hopeless situation, there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Maki was now at the top of the magnum spitting colossus. There was no way out, and Maki's end seemed near. Through the smoke of the volcano, a familiar and pleasant voice suddenly sounded. It was Pelipe, a hero in plumage, and he rushed to help Maki. Maki and Pelipe flew away from the claws of the volcano. Well, that's nice. I'm glad that he came to help me, even considering I didn't get him the fish he wanted. You, that was close. You really, you were really lucky that I had to deliver a letter and happened to be nearby. What are you doing? Only stone creatures live on a volcanic island, which I don't mind hot lava. They're not asked what you're doing there, but you can always count on my help, my friends. My brother finally found you. I thought you were swallowed by the lava. What have you done again that the volcano erupted? But found your last shark tooth I see. Now we can find Octo and stop him. Found something weird in the water near Necrosi. All right, so that's where we're going, but first. Oh, we found the key for Ludolf. Huh? And Ludolf is huh? down the huh? stairs. I wanted to do it fishing at least once. Uh, but no fish are biting. This is like a good moment for me to like pet my kitty cat. She's been a good sport. Watching. Uh. Let me quicker than that. The fish escaped. Alright, not sure exactly what I was supposed to do. No worries. Yeah, just like going into people's houses. I belong here. Hmm. I mean, he didn't really give me anything. Alright, 
something weird in the water near this place, which looks like it's probably up here and in the little cove part. It kind of looks like uh, if you're doing like the little curvy finger pirate hook thing with your finger, uh, the uh, upper part or something. I don't actually know though. Question marks. I feel like this is going to be it. This is, we found it. Oh, oh. Maybe we found it? I mean, it's got that creepy kind of um, monster vibe to it. Oh, yeah, look at this octopus dude. He looks so not happy with us right here. I've been waiting for you. Maki was your name, right? I should have just destroyed you and the other guy, and that other guy right then. Then let's end it here now. Why? All right, we'll try it again. I, I think I, I, I think I have a solid understanding. Like. <laughs> Got it, like... You gotta be far enough above him to uh, not take any damage um, on that. It also looks like I'm kind of... Perhaps... Okay, so I'm not screwed. If I need to, I can go get some... Some health and stuff, which... Um, I'm probably going to do... Like turn into like a giant gray wing. Give me something to like. Give me some help. I need some help. to go. Oh, what you are stronger than I thought. Does not make any sense. Such a small idiot cannot be stronger than me. See you soon, Maki. Promise. But will you? Will you really find me soon? Will I go on to do other things? You've made it really far, Maki, but I have to give you that. I really have to give you that, but your adventure ends here. One of us will not leave this fight anymore. I will destroy you. Let's go. Die. <laughs> Uh, okay, um... This is, like, super awkward. Uh... 
Alright, I know what I need to do here. Like, this is not a bad boss fight. Um... It was just super awkward the way that uh, things were going because... I, uh, I didn't understand initially that all those, you know, the spinny arm things were going to cause me damage, so... All the way down to that the first time, I, you know, that he did his little chop to make chop and stuff. Uh, never mind. I was going to say if I did it the first time, I could probably get him this time. Uh, but yeah, but no, I'm, I've got it this time. Now that I know what he's supposed, to, now that I know what's supposed to happen, I got it. Way. I think it's probably one of the best game, one of the better games I've played that features a shark as a playable character. Uh, number one is obviously Jaws. Um, you know the PlayStation Two title. It was amazing. Um, after that would be that other shark game that I don't recall the name of, but it's, it's also like a game that existed. Uh, Maneater. That's the name of it. That one was really good. Ah, that cannot be. Where did you get this strength? I'm the great Octavio, king of demons, defeated by some dwarf. Arg. It cannot be. Where did you get this strength? I'm the great Octavio, king of the demons, defeated by some dwarf. He said it twice. <laughs> So you know he's upset. We exploded into little tiny fish parts. A game by Mateo Kovic. Mackie's Adventure. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you liked the game. If I buy Mateo Kovic's words, more a whole bunch of people that made music and they did a great job. Special thanks to my brother, Kristen Kovic, for helping with technical problems. Uh, the parents and some play testers and the following people. A lot of people that did some helpful things. Hooray! And other people. Congratulations for Speedrun Challenge. Thank you to Unity. <laughs> Probably only a lot of people that says that. Team Cherry. Uh, yeah, all in was pretty good. Well, there you go. Um, that's Maki's Adventure. Obviously, I didn't get everything. There was a couple of things that I didn't quite get. Um, since uh, this this is over like way earlier than I thought, might as well check out the racing mode, right? Uh, but I I don't I don't have a second person, so maybe not racing mode. And I'm really not really too concerned with the uh, the boss rush, but I'm I'm assuming the boss rush here is going to be boss battle after boss battle after boss battle. See how far you can go. Um. So it's cool that they have the boss mode, um, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, I did it. A weird boss. Uh, this guy, this guy was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> The, 
this boss didn't really make any sense. I mean, it's just really, really easy. Oh, I didn't really like the plant monster. I'm not... I don't want to go through all this again. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to go ahead and just... It doesn't matter. I don't need to go through all that, but... Um, there you go. That That's the game for you. That was Maki's Adventure. It was quite fun. I really enjoyed it. Again, uh, thank you to the developer for, uh, you know, let me get it. Well, because I won their giveaway thing that they, they did, and they gave me a free key. So thank you to them for that, and uh, I quite enjoyed it. Um, the link will be in the description if you're looking to go and wishlist this or pick it up. And thanks for watching.